temperature's getting so hot today, officials are sounding the alarm, reminding you not to leave your kids or your pets in the car alone. Experts say it can take just minutes for serious consequences to set in. According to a study from the Stanford School of Medicine, when it is 95 degrees outside, which was today's high, it takes just 10 minutes for the inside of your car to reach 114 degrees. It gets to 129 degrees after a half an hour. At that temperature, the body can rise to 106 degrees or higher within just 10 to 15 minutes, which can cause potentially irreparable organ damage, even death. And just yesterday, first responders in Tavares pulled an infant from a locked car after she was left alone for 45 minutes. The temperature in that car reaching more than 100 degrees. News 6's Catherine Silver brings us the latest on this case and the warning from police on how dangerous hot cars can be. Look the window down on the one side. The window's bro. down. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? You can hear the frustration in their voices. Don't you see how hot it is out here? Oh my God, it's, it's Florida. Body camera video from Tavares police showing officers arresting a father whose one-year-old daughter was left alone in a car. She's being treated by EMS right now, bud. Because that's what happens when a child gets left in a hot car. They place Keita Jones in handcuffs. His arrest report shows the baby girl was left long enough for her car seat to reach triple digit temperatures. He told police he was inside Publix completing an Instacart order. I mean, why would you leave the kids in the car? Rain it or not, man. This is my second Instacart. She got wet the first time. Calls to 911 Sunday directed first responders to the store on State Road 19. I've got a baby in a car that's locked in front of a parking lot. The voice on the line, a Publix employee flagged down by a passerby who parked next to the child and saw her in the back seat leading to her rescue. It seems to have labored breathing, but that's all I can tell from the outside of the vehicle. And is the door locked? I'm not attempting these days. I don't want to get shot. Tavares Police Chief Sarah Corsi says without that call for help, this could have been deadly. Cracking windows doesn't help. It doesn't do anything to significantly decrease the temperatures in the vehicle. Already in Florida, four children have died in hot cars this year. Half of the fatalities nationwide tracked by kids and car safety. What is the police department doing to just reach people? We can put it on our Facebook. It's uh, common sense, though. If it's too hot for you, it's too hot for them. Another reminder before it's too late. Most of us are parents, uh, and those that aren't parents are pet parents. So it's very frustrating uh, when something like this is preventable. Uh, we don't want to see anybody suffer. So what else can parents do? Well, Tavares police say you should never leave an animal or a child inside of a car. Keep the doors locked and your keys out of reach so they don't accidentally get inside on their own. And if you do happen to see someone inside of a hot car, police say get them out immediately. In Lake County, Catherine Silver getting results. News 6.